Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Princess Cruises experts, and today I'm on the beautiful, brand new, incredibly high-tech Discovery Princess. This is the fifth in the class of the Royal class of ships. They've taken everything they've learned from the other four, they've taken it to another level, and in my mind, they've absolutely hit it out of the park. Now I'm gonna take you through all the public spaces here on the ship. We also have the rooms and suites on our channel as well if you wanna check it out. But before we do, keep in mind when you're ready to book your next Princess Cruise vacation, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now I mentioned that we're gonna go through all the public spaces. I've cruised extensively with Princess. In fact, my family's favorite cruise line for so many years was and has been Princess, and that's why we've cruised for over 200 days at sea. I find that it's a perfect fit for every member of the family. I started cruising on Princess when I was a little guy with my grandparents, and now I bring my daughter and my family on board as well. Now you have all kinds of amazing restaurants. We've got those on the tour. You're gonna have all kinds of unique and dynamic entertainment venues. And all of this ties into the medallion class experience. We've got a full video that you can access through the link down below if you wanna see what that's all about. But basically it's the most high-tech experience that they've ever built out on a cruise ship. Your medallion can do so much for you. It's this tiny RFID chip, but if you take it with you, you can order food and have it delivered. It'll open your door, but so much more than that, it lets the crew know who you are, what your preferences are, so they can provide world-class service. Now we started out right above the pool deck here today. We're up on deck 17 where you've got a ton of sun lounger space, both facing into the pool deck and facing out to the ocean view. Right down on the sides behind me, you're gonna find a hot tub on either side. And then down on the pool deck, you're gonna have three hot tubs as well. You've got two really nice large pools. They're big enough for doing laps. I really like that they've made them that size. You may wanna do that in the morning or later in the evening because it does get a little busy during the day. And then you also have the seating area around each pool and the hot tubs where you can dip your toes in the water to cool off. You can imagine when you're cruising to the Mexican Riviera or if you're up in Alaska, this ship has so many diverse options here on board to make each and every cruise incredible. Now also down on the pool deck, you have a lot more sun lounger space, and you'll notice that the loungers here and up above are facing towards that incredible extra large screen. That's the Movies Under the Stars screen, a concept that Princess pioneered, where you can watch first run movies in the evening. They'll have popcorn, warm cookies and milk. They'll bring the blankets out if you're in Alaska, where you can sit at all the loungers, or of course, if you're lucky enough to have one of those sky suites, you can sit up there and watch all of the movies. In addition to that, they'll show different sports and sporting events, like maybe the Super Bowl or your favorite football game. You can sit, relax, and of course you can use the Medallion app to order hot wings, sushi, whatever it is that you'd like, and it's gonna come right to you, just like all your drinks will. Now every great pool has a couple pool bars. So you've got a pool bar on either side. You're gonna have slices, which is the pizza place. And then you're also going to have the Salty Dog Gastro Pub. It's kind of the overflow of that, where you can get different kinds of hot dogs. You can also get tacos and a wide variety of options down there. I just had a pulled pork sandwich and it was delicious. You're gonna also find down there the soft serve ice cream, super important, I'll get to that in just a minute. But you're gonna have seating in the sun, you have seating in the shade, so you can really customize that option as you'd like. Now the Discovery Princess is a perfect choice for families, multi-generational groups, and all kinds of configurations of guests. And one of the reasons is that they really cater to every member of the family. They've got the massive kids club spaces where they've dedicated that space, all of the investment to the kids. And then they also have adults only spaces. In fact, I'm standing here in the retreat now. I've personally experienced when every member of the family is satisfied and happy and engaged, everybody's gonna really enjoy their vacation experience. So if you want a few moments of adult time, or maybe all of your moments is adult time, the retreat pool area is a perfect fit for you. You've got a nice large pool here. In fact, it's big enough to do laps. If you wanna do that, I'd probably recommend coming in the morning or later in the evening. You've got this seating area all around the large pool where you can sit and put your toes in. You're gonna have loungers all the way around. And then right here, the focal point is the retreat bar. Princess has some of the best bartenders, not only in the industry, but in the entire world. They're here to engage you, to make you happy, smile, laugh, and of course, keep all of the drinks coming. 
Now, in addition to the bar, you've got this nice lounge space in the middle there. So maybe you just want to come up and grab a drink and relax. You can do that here, or you can take advantage of the top deck of the retreat. Let's head up there now. Now I'm just above the retreat bar now. You can see that right here below me. And on either side, you're gonna have a nice large amount of lounge and relaxation space. So you can see the sun loungers here, they have them set up looking down at the pool. You're also gonna have sun loungers looking out at the ocean as well. In fact, there's a couple of these pseudo cabanas here. They do have some glass partitions to break up the wind. And in there, you're gonna have a couple lounge chairs. Now they're first come, first serve. They are complimentary, but if you want one of those, you wanna snag them early in the morning. Now up top here, they also have two hot tubs. I love the idea that you have these hot tubs in the adult only area. And then continuing through, you're gonna have more lounge chairs, a couple more of the cabanas and loungers facing down to the pool. Now up here and down below by the retreat pool, you're gonna have the showers, rainforest shower heads, of course. You can shower before you head into the hot tub and when you get out. At the very top front of the ship, you'll find the Sanctuary. This has been an incredibly successful product add-on for Princess Cruise Lines. What it is, it's an adults-only sanctuary. You can purchase it by the day. Sometimes they'll have half-day passes or for the full cruise. It's gotten so popular that you may want to consider that full cruise option and get it as soon as you get here on board. Now you're gonna be able to access this throughout the cruise. You're gonna have loungers that are seated looking all the way out the front and the side of the ship. And of course, at the very top front, kind of the crown of the ship here, you're gonna get incredible views. You can imagine sailing through the glaciers in Alaska. This is gonna be the perfect spot for that. You can sit in one of the loungers or you have all the different sofa options looking out the very front of the ship. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna have top-notch service. They're gonna have service provided throughout, whether you want drink service, food service, they do have a special menu that you can order from as well. Right in the top middle, you're gonna find a jacuzzi soaking tub. They do have a shower over to the side, so you can rinse off before and after you get in. But once again, imagine yourself sitting right here in the jacuzzi, looking out the incredible views as you sail through Glacier Bay, the Panama Canal, the Mexican Riviera, Europe, wherever it is that you're visiting. Now, in addition to having all of these open seating areas, they also have a couple different styles of cabanas. You can choose from those, and then the cabana is yours, once again, through the half day, full day, or the cruise. In here, each of them are gonna have a couple lounge chairs. You also have a sofa bed, and then you're gonna have a couple more chairs, a large flat panel TV, a fully stocked mini fridge, and then you're gonna get those extra comfy robes and slippers to utilize throughout your stay. You can pull these shut if you wanna have a little bit extra privacy as well. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna have the cabanas wrapped all the way around the sides here, so you can let them know which one that you want. Once again, if you are interested in the sanctuary, I do recommend that you do that as soon as you get here on board. So as we continue to wrap all the way around in a giant horseshoe, you can see more of those loungers here taking advantage of those incredible views. And in the far corner, you're actually gonna have two cabanas that are set up dedicated specifically to spa treatments. So if you do wanna have a spa treatment up here, you're gonna to wanna to tell the spa when you schedule it. Once again, we do recommend that you do that as soon as you get on board. They've got a nice little lounge waiting area, and then you're gonna have a couple's massage area. So you can do it for one or for two. But what's great about this is you're out in the open air, you're gonna have the fan up above, and then you get those great ocean breezes coming through. If you love a spa style atmosphere, maybe you want something that's a little bit quieter, higher level of service, I really recommend checking out the sanctuary. A lot of our sweet guests will invest up to get the sanctuary for the full cruise and it really complements the entire experience. Now as we head further back, you're going to find another hot tub on either side of the ship. You have a ton more of the loungers, they've got them in the shade and then of course in the sun as well. But you're going to find one of the most important things that you'll find on any cruise ship. It's not the engine, that of course is the ping pong table. You know, my wife and I did our very first cruise together. We did a 14 day on the Star Princess in Europe. We played ping pong every single day. It was a lot of fun. And it's one of those things where it's of course a complimentary feature. Everybody knows how to play. And on a 30 day cruise I did on the Pacific Princess, we actually got to be pretty competitive. They had competitions every single day. And that's usually what I did, hit it right into the net. Now we've stepped one more floor up to deck 17. You do have a great lookout just behind me looking over the main pool deck. And then as we continue to head towards the back of the ship, we're now on the walking and jogging track. 
Now this is a really large walking and jogging track. In fact, Princess has dedicated a ton of space and money to different styles of fitness. Of course, you got the massive fitness center. You're also gonna have the sport court. I'll take you there in just a minute. Miniature golf, and of course, this massive walking and jogging track. I love that they've moved it up above the main sun deck. In fact, you can see the main sun deck down below me here. I love that they moved it up and out of the way so you can run and jog without worrying about getting in anyone else's way. So now we're up at center court. This is the extra large sport court here on board. I love that the entire thing is netted in. And of course you've got the basketball court here, but it's more than that. They've got it set up so you can have multiple pickleball courts. They do dodgeball, any kind of sport tort tile activity. They're gonna have competitions free shooting and just a place to come and relax, maybe even to get all your energy out. Now, growing up, my dad was a basketball coach. He, taught, he coached for over 40 years. My brother and I would always have to come practice our free throws. Happy to do it. We play a lot of three on three competitions. It was something that really connected us together and created fantastic vacation memories. Let's see if I've still got any of it left. All right. Nope, that's pretty normal. All right, well, let's check at least and see if the bank's open. Yeah, that's closed too. All right, well, I guess we're stuck with just the sky hook. You know what I keep thinking? It's Wednesday, there's no way the bank's closed. Well, we'll see. Yep, it's closed. Must be a special holiday I don't know about. Now at the very top aft of the ship, you're gonna find the putting green. So this is the greens. You can play a little miniature golf competition with friends or family. Of course, you can also practice your golf skills. This ship does go to some pretty amazing spots that have incredible golf courses. Let's see what we got here. Yep, bank off, bank off. No, no, no. All right, well, let's see. I think I, I, think I got this. I got this. Wait, what's par on this? All right. I made it anyway. Just a bit outside. Ooh, I got a little bit of chicken left on the bone. We'll see. Not bad. The back of deck 17, you're gonna find more sun lounger space. You can see it wrapped around here, also on the sides. You're also gonna have a covered area here that is smoker friendly. So if you're looking for a place to smoke, you can do that all the way in the back here. And once again, it is covered. Now, if you're looking for some sun, of course you have all these sun loungers, but you're also gonna have the incredible infinity edge pool. It's such a unique feature here. We're seeing it more and more in the industry, but you can imagine standing on the very edge there, the glass looking out as you sail away from some incredible destinations around the world. It's really perfect for that. You can also sit on the edge and put your toes in. It's part of that aft complex where you're also gonna find the Wakeview bar. I love the idea there that you can grab a drink and check out the incredible aft views. So now we've come to the most important part of any cruise ship tour. Of course, that's the soft serve ice cream. They've got Swirls ice cream here. It's absolutely delicious. I've been here a few times already. In fact, oh, looks like he knew I was coming. Yes, sir. You know, if you're gonna make a swirl, why would you do it all in one when you can put two together? Thank you, yeah, cheers. Mm, delicious. Mm, I'll come back for the sprinkles, I appreciate it. Oh, sorry, we're still going. All right, now one of the great features that you'll find on all the Royal Class vessels is the sea walk. It's really, really cool. I'm actually cantilevered off the side of the ship now, and when I look down below me, there's a glass floor, and you can see all the way down to the ocean below. Of course, this isn't for the faint of heart. You don't have to walk on it if you don't want to, but if you want a really unique view, I definitely recommend that you check out the sea walk. Now we're headed into the buffet area and it is absolutely massive on this ship. It's also beautifully decorated and it's separated into two spots. So the beginning part here, it's really the Horizon Bistro area. So it'll, all of this will be set up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then also snacks in between. 
You've got this station here where they can do all kinds of different meets. And then as we continue around, you can see it's set up right now for light bites in the early afternoon. So you've got ready-made sandwiches here, all kinds of different charcuterie options, or they can make a sandwich for you. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have a lot of grab and go. That's one of the things I've seen Princess really continue to evolve with is a lot of grab and go options throughout every single meal. So of course you can make things to order or you can just grab your favorites and head on out. So here they've got that overflow. You've got some curry. I love the idea that they do a really good job with Indian food. Today you've got uh, creamy mushrooms and spinach baked pasta, enchiladas. You have different fajitas and styles like that. You're also gonna have some Asian options and of course fruit. Over continuing along, you're gonna have the salad bar here now keep in mind, like I said, we're between meal times right now. This is just one of the stations that you can utilize during the actual meal times. Now as I head further aft, you're gonna find the most important part of the buffet. That of course is the dessert station. So this entire area is called the pastry shop and you're gonna find desserts for lunch and dinner. I'll show you some in just a minute. It's also going to be a coffee shop. So maybe you wanna start your day here for breakfast. You can order a coffee using the medallion or you can head right on up to the coffee bar right here. Now for breakfast, you're gonna find all kinds of different pastries and muffins in here. And then throughout the day for lunch and dinner, as I mentioned, you're gonna have a wide variety of different styles of desserts and of course cookies. I do love the idea that they always have gluten-free and they have sugar-free options if you'd like to choose from those. But for me, I'm heading back over to the cookie station for another dozen or two. Oh yeah, and brownies, mm-hmm. Now I wanted to show you one of the complimentary drink stations here on board. Of course, you can always order from the waiter or the waitresses, they're happy to bring you as you'd like, but they're gonna mix it up throughout the day. So you've got the coffee machine here where you can get decaf or of course leaded coffee, which is what I always need. So you can utilize that in the morning. You're gonna have teas here, they're all complimentary to choose from. And then as I continue around, you're gonna also have your water and ice station and the Nestle Vitality water. So right now they have lemonade, but they'll put different things on here. Like for breakfast, you might have apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, things along those lines. And then later on throughout the day, they'll usually have iced tea and lemonade options. All of these are complimentary. And of course, in addition to ordering from your waiter, you can also use the medallion. Now I mentioned this earlier, but I wanted to point out there is an enormous amount of seating options here. On either side of the buffet, you're gonna have tables and chairs that can go for six or eight like this. It can be bigger to make groups of 10 or 12, or you could just have a table for two. Now, I love the idea that you have a ton of windows in here, so maybe you wanna have breakfast with a view or dinner with a view. You can do that as well. Now, we started out in the front of the buffet, and as we headed further back, we crossed into the World Fresh Marketplace portion. And once again, it is enormous. So everything you see on this side, they're gonna have on the far side as well. So you have all the different hot stations. They've got a meat station on the far side here. We're kind of in between mealtime. They're transitioning over from lunch to kind of snack time and then they'll get dinner out. But all along here, you're gonna have the different stations. So you've got it's like chicken over there right now. I had some absolutely delicious fish for lunch here, but you're gonna have a wide variety of options and it's gonna mix and match each and every single day. Now, one of the things that I really appreciate that they've done is in the middle of the two large buffet lines, they put a series of smaller stations. So you have a couple spaces where they can do salad bar. That's what they had over there a few minutes ago. They had a Caesar salad bar here. At breakfast time, they had a different cereal bar. They'll have sandwiches made to order as you'd like. But you have a lot of these great stations, so they spread everybody out. So you've got grab and go items all the way around, maybe a little cheese or a fruit cup, but they also can have customized options. Now I wanted to walk through here because as I mentioned, all of those stations are around here and on the far side. And then in the back, you're also gonna have a redundancy as well. So it looks like tonight's gonna be Italy and Asia. So they've got these two areas set up. They'll have all the pastas here in just a bit, but they're gonna theme it throughout the stay here on board. Once again, everything you see on this far back line, you're gonna see on the line in front of it. But my recommendation is to go all the way to the back because a lot of people stop along the way. So I tend to find that I can grab quicker and easier service if I head all the way to the back. And then of course you can go to either side to sit or you can take your food outside and enjoy the wake view. Those of you who know me know that my favorite spot on any cruise ship is the aft of the ship. They've got the incredible Wakeview pool right here. It's an infinity edge pool looking over the back of the ship. It's the perfect place to relax and unwind. But in addition to that, you're gonna have the Wakeview bar. 
This is an extension of the buffet. So it's just aft of the buffet here. You've got a nice large bar right in the middle. Of course, they're gonna provide drink service to the tables all the way around back here. You'll generally find this to be more of an adults only area. It's not officially that way, but this is that perfect place to come play some games with your friends, relax, maybe even grab a meal and extend it out here. They're gonna have drink stations, so they've got a water station. You're also gonna have a coffee station on the other side. And then of course, with the full bar service and the medallion, you can have whatever you want, whenever you want. And for me, it just better be on the wake of the ship. I'm gonna need a few minutes, Taylor. Mm. Man, I love these complimentary drink stations here. I got my ice. I think I'm gonna get some water. You know, it's like the old school days back at the, the Little League field, we get a little of everything. I think I'm gonna get some water too, and some water. Hey, look, they have H2O. And you know what? The backside of water, right? O2H. And they've got some water here. Water, and you know what? Water you know. I'm gonna have a little more. Delicious. So now we're gonna head in and explore Camp Discovery. This is the kids club here on board, and the kids club is actually important to every single passenger on board. They do cater to every single age group, different groups and configurations. And what I love is they have it segmented out so that every member of the family can join their peers and have a great time. Now their partnership with the Discovery Channel and Animal Planet has really taken the educational piece to another level. I especially love it when this ship is in Alaska. Now they're gonna have this segmented into three different groups. We'll take you in there in just a minute. But I also wanted to mention one of the things that I really love about what Princess does. They also have Club 1820. Now this is for the 18 to 20 year olds. In a lot of cases, they get left out of programming on board a cruise ship. The kids club's gonna start at 18. All the adults only venues usually start at 21. So I love the idea that throughout the entire cruise, they're gonna have gatherings and getting everybody together once again to have that social experience. I know as an educator, I was a middle school teacher for over 10 years, that if every single member of the family has their needs met, it's gonna be a phenomenal vacation for everyone. Now we're inside the tree house. This is the area dedicated to the three to seven year olds, happens to be my daughter's age right now. This would be the area where she gets to hang out. It's the camp counselors that really make the experience. The space is amazing, and you'll show you that in a second, but all of their camp counselors have a background in child development. They're all here because they wanna be, and they do an incredible job with your kiddos so that every member of the family can be satisfied and everybody can have an incredible vacation. Now in here, you're gonna see a lot of those tie-ins to the partnership with the Discovery Channel and Animal Planet. Right when we walk in, you've got your books and games area. So they'll do reading time, of course, for the little kiddos. You also have this little play mat area for the smaller ones. Beautiful decor throughout. And as we continue in, this is the camp counselor's office. You've got the nook here for shoes, so you can store them there, coat hooks as well. Keep in mind this ship does spend quite a bit of time in Alaska. You can imagine in Alaska, the kids get to dig into the wildlife, the wilderness, all of the ecology and the different pieces of the puzzle while having a great time, especially by focusing on those Discovery Channel and Animal Planet partnerships. It's about education and of course fun. You can see they've got the mini air hockey table here. They've got different games set up. And then over here, they've got the large screen TV set up for game time, or it's actually an Xbox. They can play all kinds of different video games as well. Tucked in the corner, you're gonna have an interactive DJ booth so they can pick some of their own music. And then tucked in the corner here, you're gonna have all of the tables. Now this is used mainly for arts and crafts. They can do meals and things like that in here as well. That whole wall is all gonna be lined with the different arts and crafts. They've got the lanyards here. I've got some great cruise memories myself as a kiddo making the different bracelets and different kinds of activities. And every time my daughter comes back, she has a new fun thing to share with us. So you've got the tables and chairs here. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have a jungle gym. Now, it's not just any jungle gym. It looks like the jungle. You've got a lion, you've got a monkey here. You've got the panda on the far side. It's just a fun place for the kiddos to play and they can go down the slide. Tucked in the corner further, you've got a little basketball hoop, the little house, reminiscent of my house, just a few, uh, a few years ago with all the different toys. And then you're gonna have the trikes and different bikes that they can utilize outside. Let me show you what that's about. 
Now, three to seven year olds need to get out energy. They've got plenty of places to play inside. They've got this great track where they can ride the bikes and tricycles around. You've got these set up for different games like hopscotch. And then the far side, you're gonna have another jungle gym. So lots of places where the kids can come out and get out their energy. But what I love is the idea that there's something for everyone. If your kids are a little bit more kinetic, have all that energy like I did as a kid, you've got tons of places to play. If they're a little bit more into arts and crafts, you're gonna have that as well. They're gonna mix and match all of the different engaging content to make sure that your kiddos are not only having a great time, but they're also learning along the way. For the six to eight year olds, you're gonna find the lodge. So what you'll see is it's a similar amount of space as we had previously, but it's gonna be a little bit older the way it's designed. So you have a full size air hockey table. You're gonna have the books. Once again, a little bit more aimed at that eight to 12 year old audience and a lot of games as well. You've got foosball just behind me, nice little lounge area. And then on this side and the opposite, you're gonna find video game stations. I love the idea that they have both the screen and a really nice sound bar underneath. Continuing into the space, you're gonna have these seating areas where they can sit and play games and socialize. You have, again, a full jukebox where they can pick their own music, and you even have a DJ booth just behind here. Across from there, you're gonna find another nice large lounge space, another place where they can sit, play games, they can do different styles of programming. You're gonna have a large flat panel TV where you can play video games once again or watch movies. They've got the couches set up around. I can imagine the kids lounging around and having a great time. Now you've got tables and chairs over here on this side, another one of those arts and crafts stations. They're gonna do different science experiments as well. Once again, tying back to that partnership with the Discovery Channel. You've got walls and walls of all the different arts and crafts supplies. Now, one of my favorite aspects of this is right in the corner here. You're gonna have a little bit of ski ball. Let's see if I got it still. Oh yeah, 10,000 on the first try. All right, I'll walk away with 14,000 and nobody has to know. All right, so as we continue through, once again, it's a really dynamic space for kids eight to 12 years old where they can hang out with their peers, they can learn, and of course, have a great time. For the 13 to 17 year olds, you're gonna have the beach house. It's a really nice, relaxing space meant to emulate your favorite friend's beach house. So you're gonna have tables and chairs in here set up in different configurations. So you've got the lounge space with the couches, the love seats, and then of course they'll all be in the middle. It's set up for a conference right now, but right in the middle of the space, you're gonna have a large flat panel TV. You can play different video games there. They have movie nights. And then just behind me, you're actually gonna have a jukebox where they can pick their own songs and you have a full DJ booth. Now, what I like about this spot is there's lots of places where they can hang out and get away. So you've got these nooks built around the TVs with these really cool tables made of surfboards. Of course, you have these bar areas where they can put tables up. You've got foosball, you've got air hockey. There's also a ping pong table. And as we wrap around to the far side here, I love the idea as you look up that they're gonna have lights, speakers, and they'll turn all of this in the middle into a dance floor. They'll kind of do a mock party, basically giving the teenagers the ability to access what the adults are, but in a safe environment here in the space. You've got more lounge space, more of the ski ball, so that's another complimentary feature they can have a lot of fun doing. And then all along the wall here, you're gonna have video game stations. Once again, they're gonna have science, technology, and of course, all the different arts and fun here so they can learn, grow as a human, and of course, go ahead and have an amazing time. <laughs> Now, in addition to having the photo gallery and photos taken around the ship in a more candid position, you also can have professional shots done. Those who are staying in the top suites get a special benefit with that, but anybody can set up the time where you could do a professional photo shoot. A cruise is that perfect time when so many members of the friends group or family are together. So you can take those formal portraits, maybe for a Christmas card, or maybe just for a memory that will last a lifetime. The fitness center is huge on the Discovery Princess. A lot of people love to exercise when they're on vacation. Maybe you do it and you wanna continue it, or you just aspire to do it on a regular basis. Whatever reason you'd like, there's a ton of equipment in here. All along the wall of windows, you're gonna have the treadmills. So you have a ton of aerobic exercise. You've got different bikes. 
the seated ones with the back on it. You've got the hand bike. You also have these great interactive bikes from Expresso where you can watch where you're going. So it's a bit like the Peloton style experience where you're, you're going through a certain area and you can even have a bit of coaching on there. So in addition to that, you're gonna have the elliptical machines and then they also have different styles of cardio as well. Let me take you to the far side now. In the corner here, you're gonna find the benches and all the different dumbbells that you have there. They go up pretty high in weight. Yeah, no, I can't lift that, but I could pretend. As we continue through the space, you're gonna find all the different circuit equipment. So you've got arms and all different styles here. And then as we continue along, you've got leg presses. You're gonna have the different bicep machines. You have a wide variety. And then in the far corner, you're also going to have the, uh, the full Smith machine where you can basically make it what you want it to be. So in addition to all the equipment here, there's another side room where they have different CrossFit style equipment and they have a full aerobic studio. Let me take you in there. Now we're inside the aerobics studio. They do all kinds of different classes in here. You've got the spin bikes all tucked around so they can all go around in a semi-circle here. You're gonna see that they have TRX equipment coming from the ceiling. They do yoga classes. They do all kinds of different step and aerobics depending on what you're looking for. Now the classes can fill up so you're gonna to wanna to sign up for those. You can also come in and utilize this space as you'd like when they don't have classes in here. You've got the mirrors all the way around so it's good for quite a few different workout types. Now we're just inside the concierge lounge. This is for suite guests only. We've got Francisco sitting over there. He's one of the suite concierges here on board. Their job is to really take your entire experience to the next level getting you from the terminal on board, handling all of your wishes, whether it's to restock the mini bar or switch it out. Maybe you'd like assistance with dining reservations. Of course, as a suite guest, you're gonna get priority for that. And if you wanna see the suites here on board, we have that on our channel to check out. But this is that unique space that you get. They're gonna do a, high, a top shelf happy hour each and every single evening in here. They might have different events where they bring people in, maybe an entertainer or even one of the art, uh, art uh, auctioneers who can talk about the art. They've got a couple screens in here, so they'll show the games. And then just behind me, one of my favorite features is of course all of the hors d'oeuvres and snacks. So they're gonna have continental breakfast here in the morning. They'll swap it out throughout the day. Today's lunch, or it's lunchtime right now. You can see they have a Baja bean salad, shrimp cocktail, also known as a love boat treat for me. Um, you're gonna have all kinds of little sandwiches, pastas, fruits, breads, and then of course the all important espresso machine. All of this is complimentary. You can come and utilize it anytime you'd like here on board. So if you're thinking about going to the chapel and you're gonna get married, this is the spot here on board. This is the wedding chapel. They also use it as a conference center. Depending on your needs, we can of course coordinate that for you. But you can see that they've got the piano over in the corner. You've got the rose set up right here. And then you're gonna have well, the altar or whatever you wanna make of that at the very front. They've got a beautiful picture of Amsterdam in the distance. And of course, this being the love boat, they do more weddings on board than any other cruise line. Now, princess ships are designed to sail all around the world, whether for a short cruise or an extra long cruise. It's a great feature to have laundromats here on board. They have them on quite a few of the decks. You can see those on the interactive deck plans on hardtravel.com. But you can see here what it's all about. In this one, they're gonna have four washers and four dryers that you can utilize here throughout your stay. You're also going to have ironing boards. So maybe you just wanna come and iron a shirt. You can do that as well without utilizing the full laundry room facilities. And then they're also gonna have sinks in either corner. And a nice little touch is they actually have a TV in here. So if you're waiting those last couple minutes for your items to be done, you can watch the show, game, whatever it is that you'd like. At the very aft of deck seven, you're gonna find the Vista Lounge. This is one of those dynamic entertainment lounges here that you're gonna find on the Discovery Princess. You've got a nice, large, full-size bar. They'll use this during the morning and throughout the day for different activities. And later in the evening, you're gonna take advantage of the stage. So the seating all steps up. So it's a little bit of stadium style seating. You've got a higher tier in the back there. And as you move slowly down, you're gonna find nice, large booths. You can get together a great social space to gather. You've got small cocktail tables and bistro tables in here. And then as we head further down, you have even more seating right on the dance floor. So when they use this for movies or for different entertainment with the stage, you can see the stage is right up behind me. They've got the DJ booth and also a nice tech area for pre presentation. You're gonna find all the top end technology in here. So if you are hosting in a meeting or event, this is one of those spaces that we'll utilize for large groups as well. 
So a huge dance floor here, perfect place to have some pre-dinner dancing, maybe come back later in the evening for a show. You've got the large booths on the front side here. Now, if you do want to take advantage of those for a show, you're gonna wanna get here a little bit early, but why not? Sit down, grab a drink, and wait for the fantastic entertainment to come. Now, if you love a delicious steak, you're gonna absolutely enjoy the Crown Grill. I'm gonna take you inside the restaurant itself in just a minute, but right outside, you're gonna find the Crown Grill Bar. It's a really nice lounge area, whether you're utilizing for dinner or not. You can come here, you've got a full service bar, fantastic bartenders, and then you have a ton of lounge style seating. You can see the large sofas and love seats. You also have more intimate seating in the far corners where it's kind of blocked off for smaller groups. And then you're also gonna have the piano. This is that great place to come once again, before dinner or after dinner to have a little music and to grab a drink. But what this space is all about is it's dedicated to the most classic of all princess specialty restaurants, that is the Crown Grill. Now they have a wide variety of steaks, seafoods, different chicken options as well. But to me, what it's all about is that incredible ribeye. I love the bone-in ribeyes that they serve here. And I love that they have a nice, large open kitchen. You can kind of walk through and smell right away that you're gonna have an incredible meal. It really, truly is an unapologetic steakhouse. You're gonna have all of the classic steakhouse favorites. Once again, a wide variety of steaks to choose from and also fish and seafood options. And all of that's gonna to come together for a really nice, intimate dinner. Now, if you wanna see what the menu is all about. We do have a Danny Dines episode of me sitting right around the corner there and enjoying every single, well, most of the things on the menu here. The menu was just too large and delicious to try them all. Now throughout the restaurant, you have booth and table style seating, small groups up to large groups. And one of the great unique features here is actually the wine room. So if you're dining with some friends or family, maybe you're celebrating a birthday, an anniversary, or a special occasion, as soon as you board, you're gonna wanna check in and see if you can take advantage of dining here in the wine room. Wherever it is that you choose to dine in the Crown Grill, if you love a steakhouse menu, you're gonna be very satisfied. Another fantastic dynamic entertainment venue here on board is Princess Live. So you can see here you have a really large dance floor. Of course, you can change it up as they need. You've got small cafe style seating here and it is connected to the Princess Live Cafe. We'll take you over there in just a minute. You've got a large stage where they have a fully interactive digital screen. They also use this for things like trivia, karaoke, different kinds of educational seminars as well. So looking behind me, you also have different stadium style seating. So you've got the large booths on the bottom and on the top. And then just behind is the sound booth. What you're gonna find in here is a continuation of all of that incredible technology on board. It's all interactive and all part of that medallion net and medallion class experience here on the Discovery Princess. So as I head further back, you're gonna have TV screens around. You're gonna have all the seating on the far side here. You've got the podium that'll go to the middle. So whether you're enjoying a lecture, a game of trivia with friends, this is a fantastic spot. So now we're at the Princess Live Cafe. Now this is a full bar and coffee shop. They're gonna provide service to the Princess Live venue and the different seating areas around here. One of the little tidbits or secrets that I wanted to pass along is a lot of times the coffee shop down in the piazza does get a bit crowded in the morning and this one isn't always utilized as much. So whether you wanna use the one up in the buffet or the one here, you can come here to get your favorite cappuccino, Americano, latte, any of those drinks, or of course, you can have a cocktail, beer, or wine. Now this is also part of the ocean front. This is where you're gonna learn about everything to do with the medallion. As I mentioned earlier, you can check out our video that talks in depth about why this is such a transformative thing for our entire industry. So in addition for them explaining how it works or assisting you, you can also get all of your medallion net swag. So you're gonna have little clip-ons, you've got wristbands, however you'd like to wear your medallion, make sure you have it on you at all times. It's gonna control your door. It's gonna allow you to order items and maybe go somewhere else and still have it delivered. Whatever you utilize the medallion for, make sure it's set up before you get here on board. You do all that check-in and it's gonna be a breeze. You're gonna walk right on through and you'll see throughout your cruise experience how much this little thing enhances all of that. Now throughout the ship, you're gonna find these large screens. So they're wayfinders, you can figure out exactly where you are. It's very similar to what you're gonna see in the app. So you can utilize your own device for that, or you can stop by here and utilize that, or the full schedule. So whatever it is that you'd like to check out, once again, any of the different stairways, the elevator banks, or throughout the entire ship, you can stop by and check it out digitally. 
Now there's quite a bit of retail here on deck seven, all duty free. Behind me, you're gonna find the princess shop. This is where you can all get all the different princess logo wear, whether it's a discovery princess shirt, like you're gonna see here, mugs, different kinds of uh, hats and other items as well. If you love princess, you're gonna wanna stop by. On the opposite side, you're gonna find more of that high-end jewelry. So you've got Pandora, and brighten over to the side, some Swarovski crystals in there. And then as we continue along, you're gonna find the makeup and perfumery. So this is where you can stop by to get all your different cosmetic items. Once again, duty free. A lot of our customers, including my wife, will stock up on the items that she was gonna purchase anyways at a lower cost. So as we continue further forward, you're gonna have all kinds of different handbags. Of course, you got everybody's favorite teddy bear here. So whether you're looking for some princess logo wear, you wanna up your fashion items, you've got lots of opportunities here on board. At the very front of the ship, you're gonna find the Princess Theater. It's a nice large venue here, all stadium style seating, starts down here on the bottom and then works its way all the way up. Like the rest of the ship, it's going to be dynamic and have some incredible technology built in. You can see the two large screens that they have, one on either side. You're also gonna have a large stage in the middle with a lot of technology built in and then all the newest light and sound tech. Now, there are quite a few incredible shows here. Spotlight Bar is the brand new one designed just for the Discovery Princess. There'll be other curated shows that they'll bring here on board in addition to the highlighted options. So on a longer cruise, you may have a comedian, you might have a juggler, different styles of entertainment mixed in with the Broadway style entertainment and one of the all-time princess classics now, The Voice. So you can come here, take advantage of that interactive karaoke competition and maybe blow the audience away to take home the championship. But whatever it is that you're watching here, this entertainment is all part of the princess experience. It has been for a long time. They partner with the absolute best in the industry to create not just a beautiful venue, but fantastic shows here on board. Paying tribute to Sir Winston Churchill, you have Churchill Cigar Lounge. This is a lounge and sports viewing area. You're gonna have TVs on the wall. They'll have all of your favorite games in here. You've got couches and love seats all around, and then you're gonna have a huge humidor. This will soon be filled with all of your favorite cigar options. You can purchase them right here. And because we're right next to the Take 5 bar, you can actually take advantage of bar service as well. It's all digital now using the app, so you can go ahead and scan that in, order a drink, and it'll come right to you. On this side, you've got a bar area where you can sit and smoke, or of course you can sit and do a little work as well. And then as we wrap around the far side, you're gonna find another seating area with a large flat screen TV. So if you wanna grab a cigar, watch your favorite game, or just head in here for a quick smoke, this is a nice spot because it's away from everything else, it's a nice relaxed area, and you can hang out and enjoy the game. One of my favorite places to get away on this ship is the Take 5 Lounge. Now during the day, it's a fantastic spot to sit, read, and relax. They'll use it for different events. My wife really likes to utilize this as a sewing room because you have all of the bright light coming in and the really nice, comfortable furniture. But what this really is, is a jazz lounge. If you wanna hear your favorite hits from Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, or so many others, you can come here. It's generally in the evening. They'll do several different sets each evening. And you've got the full baby grand piano, the full jazz setup where you can sit and relax. Now, if you're gonna have a jazz bar, you're gonna have to have a fantastic bar. And I'm really impressed with the decor. They've got these shadow boxes all around that have this beautiful inset decor here. And then all of the marble around the bar and the big, large marble bar here as well. You can see you have a full variety of hard liquors, beer, and wine. They're gonna provide service to all of this lounge area. They'll also provide service in Churchill Cigar Lounge. But if you wanna get away during the day to find a nice quiet spot to read, or you wanna to listen to some fantastic music in the evening, maybe before dinner, after dinner, or any time, make sure you come by Take 5 and enjoy some jazz. Now, if you like to partake in a little bit of gaming while you're on vacation, make sure you stop by the casino. One of the newest additions is the Ocean Casino app. You can actually gamble with the app. Of course, whether you're using the app, any of the tables or the machines, make sure you gamble responsibly. And if you are having an issue with that, make sure you talk to one of the casino staff. They can get you to the right place. But in here, you're gonna find a nice large casino. You've got all your favorites here. You've got different poker games. I see three card poker. You do have Texas Hold'em in the corner. It's gonna be a machine dealt table. I always prefer hand dealt, but I do love that you can have a little bit of competition on board. You're gonna have a nice large craps table. And then as we continue further in, you're gonna have blackjack. You've got different styles of poker games. And then you're also going to have a couple roulette tables. 
As we walk through, you can see they have all of the newest gaming technology in here. So you've got all the different multi-use slot machines. I do love that they have some of the classic slots as well. I always like to get a group together and maybe play the Wheel of Fortune game or something else. I think it's a lot of fun. Now, right in the middle of the casino, you're gonna have a nice large bar. You can sit there, watch a game, relax, or of course, they're gonna provide bar service to the entire area. Because you're utilizing that medallion app, they'll know exactly where to bring your drink. And of course, for me, I think they're gonna bring two. On board the Discovery Princess, you're gonna find three main dining rooms. These are complimentary options here, and generally every day they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now you've got the Skagway restaurant that we're in right now. You'll also have Ketchikan and Juno. We'll take you to the other two when we get there. Now I wanted to point out that if you upgrade to a club class mini suite or a full suite, one of the great advantages is the club class dining. Now it's actually a portion of the Skagway dining room that's set aside. You'll notice the gray napkins that say CC on there, that's the club class. And the designator is you're gonna get everything that you get on the same menu, but you're gonna get expedited service. You're always gonna have a place here when you show up. And in addition to that, they're also gonna have a unique menu item each and every single day that's a little bit higher level. In fact, on my last cruise, I love the lobster thermidor and all the different specialty dishes that they provided. Now in here, as I mentioned, this is the complimentary dining room. So you've got tables for two, four larger booths. They can even put it together for groups of 10 to 12. It's gonna be spread out throughout the entire dining. And of course, you're gonna have that dine my way concept, which means that each and every single day, you can choose where you dine, whom you dine with, and what size table you dine at. You can do that right on the Medallion app. You can also do it by heading to the restaurants. The maitre d's will be happy to help you. And you can also utilize the screens that are throughout the entire ship. But it is important to know there is no more traditional dining on Princess. What they've found is that their guests really like to have what they want, when they want, and where they want it. You can also request to come back to the same table each and every night as well. It's a nice large dining room. And once again, there's two more. Now in the very aft, I wanna show you a really special place. Here you'll see the winemaker's table. So you're wrapped around a very large wine collection here. You've got a beautiful chandelier in the middle and these really beautiful rope lights on the side. This is if you love wine. That's what this experience is all about. It is a food and wine paired meal, but it's really wine forward and wine focused. So if you're a vinophile, I really recommend that first day you're here on board that you sign up and you enjoy it at least once throughout the cruise. Now, if you're looking for the Ketchikan dining room, it can be a little bit tricky to find. It's in the very back of the ship. So you're gonna need to go all the way back to deck seven or above, and then you can take the elevator or the stairs down to deck six, but you can't come in through the middle part of the ship. Now let's head into the dining room. Now, one of the great things about being in the very aft of the ship is you're gonna have windows on the sides and all along the back. Make sure that you request those tables early if you'd like it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's all gonna be dine my way, so you can decide who you dine with, when you dine, and what size table you dine at. You've got more of a very similar dining room here. They're set up with the booths and the larger tables. But one of the things that's unique about this particular restaurant is this is where you're gonna find Chef's Table Lumiere. It's this beautiful Chef's Table in the very back. Make sure that you book that early because it will fill up. But what it is, is it's an exquisitely prepared wine paired meal. So they're gonna have wine and of course delectable food. The chef's gonna tell you what it's all about. So you can really have that elevated level of culinary experience here on board. Now this beautiful space is the piazza. Like you're gonna find at the center of every Italian city or village, you have your square. This is the main square area where everything revolves around. You can see there's seating areas where you can sit. It's a perfect place to grab a coffee, maybe a cocktail later in the evening. They're gonna have live music each and every single day here. And they also have immersive activities. One of my favorites, of course, is Puppies in the Piazza. They'll bring a little bit of Alaska on board. If you do wanna check out our Alaska with Princess video, we put the link down down below as well. But as I mentioned, everything revolves around here. You have floor five, six, and seven. You have restaurant venues, bars, and dining venues as well. Let's go check some of those out. Just off the piazza, you'll find the International Cafe. Now this is one of those fast casual options that they have here on board. All kinds of great grab and go items. You're gonna have delicious pastries. And for, of course for breakfast, they'll do breakfast sandwiches and different items along those lines. For lunch and dinner, they'll do sandwiches. They do have the ovens over there where they can heat them up for you. Have different kinds of things like quiches, pot pies, a wide variety. Now this is gonna change up throughout every single day. But if you want something quick and delicious, make sure you stop by the International Cafe. Now attached to it, you're also gonna find the coffee shop. 
So the Newgrounds Coffee Shop right here, you can once again order 24 hours a day. You can also order coffee from the Medallion anytime you'd like. And there's a few other stops. This does get a little bit busier in the morning. So a lot of times I'll go take advantage of the coffee shop up in the buffet. But you can decide once again, 24 hours a day, light bites, grab and go food, and all your favorite coffee drinks. Also set off the piazza is Good Spirits. This is where you're gonna find master mixologist Rob Floyd's concoctions that he puts together. And it's a really great interactive bar experience. Of course, you've got the bar here. Fantastic bartenders are gonna take great care of you. But if you're interested in learning how the sausage is made, if you will, how that they make those incredible mixology style drinks, they're gonna do classes right here. You'll see that they have cameras up above. So there's cameras above the bar. So when they do the demonstrations, you can watch it on the screens throughout the bar area. Another great relaxing place to sit or take advantage of those mixology classes. So now we're heading into the Salty Dog Gastro Pub. In fact, what's up, dog? How's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. You look a little bit enchanted. Well, never mind. That was the last ship. Well, anyways, you're going to have a full bar here at the Salty Dog. Fantastic mixology drinks that you can take advantage of. But as we head in, you can see that it is a restaurant. In fact, it's in the name. It's a gastro pub. So it's a specialty option here on board. You do pay a cover charge to dine here, but you're going to have some really fantastic elevated items to choose from. In fact, the bone marrow burger is out of this world. Everything that I've had here has actually been really, really good. You're going to have booth style seating along the windows there. So if you want to grab one of those, make sure you let them know. In the middle, you're going to have bistro style seating. And then you've got tables for two and four wrapped around the back with the booths. Now, of course, they can put those together for larger groups. This is another one of those faster casual specialty options. If you want to grab a burger or something else along those lines at a highly elevated level, you're going to want to try it out. And here we are at my happy place, Gelato. I love everything ice cream or gelato. And one of the things that is unique here with Princess is this is an authentic Italian gelateria. They use all the same recipes that they use in Italy. In fact, they have special designations for that. It does come at an additional cost, but they're absolutely delicious options. Right now they've got that, oh, that ooh, salted caramel. I'm gonna come back for that in a minute. Amaretto, chocolate, Nutella, vanilla, hazelnut. They've got a few more options on the other side and they're gonna rotate them throughout your cruise. So whether you're visiting Italy or Alaska, make sure you stop by for a waffle cone. They make those fresh here as well. In the corner of the piazza, you're going to find celebrations. This is a sundry shop. So if you left something at home that you need to grab, they're going to have quite a few options in here. It's also a place where you can get liquor and tobacco at duty free prices. If you want to take advantage of those, in fact, a lot of the price on land of liquor and tobacco is that duty. So you can get some really great values here. Now we headed up one floor to deck six. Now we're in my happy place right now. It's the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar. I love sushi. I'll usually come here and take advantage of this before dinner, maybe after dinner. In fact, I'll use my medallion all the time just to order it and have it delivered wherever I am in the ship. So you've got the full sushi bar set up here and a little bit of an expansion of the restaurant. One of the things that I really appreciate here is this great people watching. So you have these nice, large, comfortable chairs here. It's looking down at the piazza. And this is a great angle to see those beautiful glass spiral staircases, the gorgeous chandelier up above. And then you have the glass elevators in the distance as well. But you can take advantage of that ambient music. So they're playing music down below, doing a little dancing and things like that. I can come up here. It's a little bit quieter. You can socialize or, of course, you can get your favorite rolls, sushi, sashimi, or even some of their signature torch sushi options. One of the all-time classic princess bars is the Crooner's Bar and Lounge. Now, this is a great place to come and enjoy some music. You're going to have your favorite pianist. Of course, they always have great ones on board. I've met some incredible musicians throughout my time sailing with Princess, over 200 days here on board. And so many times we've started or ended our evening right here at Crooner's with a drink in a hand, listening to the music, socializing with friends and family. Now you've got this beautiful setup here, all this brand new gorgeous furniture. And at the far end, you're gonna have the full bar. So this is the Crooner's Bar. You've got a nice, large, wide variety of wines, beers, and of course, hard liquors. So if you want your favorite martini, maybe you want a beautiful whiskey, you can come here, sit, relax. And I think of all the different memories that I've made here. I talked about that a minute ago, but a huge shout out to Bob. We really miss him. So many nights we'd come in here, he'd request his favorite songs. We'd sit, laugh, and enjoy the night away. 
Across from Crooners, you're gonna find the shops of Princess. This is a wide variety of different jewelry options. You can see here their partnership with Effie. They've really celebrated and expanded that. As we continue along, you're gonna find all your favorite watches, different styles of jewelry, sunglasses, things along those lines. Now you can take advantage of the duty-free prices. So much of the price of a lot of these items is the duty. If you can save 10 or more percent, it can be a huge cost savings for you. As we continue along, you can see even more watch options here. In fact, I know Taylor's gonna be there in just a bit. Now, part of the cruise experience is capturing all of the memories that you're making. Of course, you can take your own photos or you can rely on the ship's photographers. They're gonna be taking photos during boarding times, meals, and throughout the cruise if you'd like to. It's always gonna be voluntary. And if you do, you can come to the photo shop, check out what they took, and you can purchase them individually or all of them. Now it's also a spot where you can come in, maybe you need to grab some bits for the medallion, so they do have some options that you can use, maybe a watch band or one of the clips for the medallion. You're also gonna have SD cards, batteries, and you can purchase cameras and binoculars here at well, in addition to using those duty-free prices. Here you'll find the Princess Fine Arts Gallery. This is part of their partnership with Park West. And something that I appreciate about it is of course you can come on and purchase art. That's why it's here. Many of our customers do come on, and tell me the prices are really quite excellent for what you're gonna find on land. They're gonna have art auctions where they'll educate you. But more than that, this is where you can learn about art or you can just come and enjoy it. You can see they have a nice large gallery here, different mediums, you're gonna have sculptures, of course you've got paintings, you see some of our favorites from Godard, you've got Peter Max over there, Brito, Kincaid, I think, around the corner. There's a ton of different options in here. So one of the things that I enjoy doing with my family is just coming through and treating it as a museum because that's really what it is. My daughter loves to check out the art on each and every cruise ship that we visit. And of course, the art auctioneers, they're here to advise and assist you. They can answer all your questions and give you a great history lesson along the way. Now, one of the most important spots that you'll find off the piazza is Gigi's Pizzeria. I can't tell you how many pizzas I've eaten on board Princess over the years. It's one of those things that they really take a lot of pride in. In fact, they've won best pizza in the industry several times. They really go to those authentic Italian recipes. So if you combine this, head on down for gelato. You're sure to have a perfect Italian day on board or maybe just a snack before dinner. I do that after dinner too sometimes. Ah, anyway, you can have pizza anytime you'd like. You can see here, they're gonna make it up fresh. That's one of the big differences here is a lot of them will use pre-prepared. That's not what they do here at Gigi's. You're gonna see the chefs twirling the pizzas here, making all kinds of different options. They have some good gluten-free options as well too. In addition to all the pizzas, you can customize your own, you can pick from a set list, but they're also gonna have some great antipasti, salads, and soups to choose from. It's a nice large space here. In fact, it takes up this whole side above the piazza here. So below, down below it, you're gonna find crooners. And then even below that, you'd find the salty dog. So it's a nice large side here. You're gonna have booth style seating, tables for two, four. They can make it even as big as 10. You're also gonna have more seating all along the side here with booths and tables. And another fantastic addition here is actually seating outdoors. So wherever it is that you wanna sit, grab a seat, order your favorite pizza, and you're sure to be delighted. Set just between Gigi's Pizzeria and Bistro Sur La Mer, you're gonna find Bellini's Bar. So it pays tribute to, of course, the famous Bellini drink. It was first crafted at Harry's Bar in Venice, one of the incredible destinations that Princess visits. This is another bar venue. It also provides bar service to both the restaurants on either side. You have this great extra comfy seating where you can sit, look down, but you can also sit up here and have that ambience of the overflow music. Now let's head in to Bistro Sur La Mer. Another fantastic specialty restaurant here on board is Bistro Sur La Mer. It's a partnership with Chef Emmanuel Renault and it is absolutely delicious French cuisine. You're gonna find those classic preparations with a modern twist. It's a fantastic menu. I loved everything that I've tried. In fact, if you wanna check me out eating every single item here, we have a Danny Dines episode. All you have to do is check that out in the description down below. You can see all the different items that they'll have here and me enjoying it. Now the decor is very French, kind of ties into the French Metro, if you will. You see the beautiful subway tiles, all of the different ironwork makes it feel like you are in one of the metros there in Paris. And then you have those dark, deep blues and beautiful classic French decor. All right, those of you who know Princess know about Elevator Olympics. Of course, they're different elevator banks, so you've gotta press both buttons. And you play a little bit of game of, uh, I don't know, Russian roulette of sorts, because it could be that elevator that opens. It could be this elevator. Oh, nope, it's this elevator over here. 
Oh, I missed it. I think it's time to, no, it's over. There we go. No, wait, where is it? Where'd it go? Ah, here we go. I finally got it. Winner, winner. Do you know what I found, Taylor? It's the Juno dining room. Let's head in and see if they have any gold nuggets. Well, I don't expect that, but what I do expect is some incredible food and really one of the things that I love the most about the Alaska experience is their North to Alaska dining options. The crab is complimentary and absolutely delicious. They're gonna have different salmon options and lots of great fresh seafood. Now in this restaurant, you're gonna find very much what you're gonna find in the other restaurants in both the Skagway and of course the Ketchikan restaurant. The really the big difference here is they wanted to separate out into several smaller areas, smaller restaurants, so you have a bit more intimate experience. You're gonna have the same concept here with tables for two, four, booth style or table. You just let them know what you want when you arrive. Now keep in mind, once again, with that Dine My Way, you're gonna reserve your time or you'll show up. If you don't reserve ahead of time, there might be a little bit of a wait, but oftentimes, and on our last cruise, there really wasn't too much. Now at the very back, they're also going to have a winemaker's table. They use the one up above for the primary wine tasting and the wine meals, but once again, a very, very beautiful dining room here as well. Next up is the Internet Cafe. There's quite a few different computers that you can take advantage of in here, though most people do bring their own devices, whether it's an iPad or a laptop. This is also the place where they can assist you with that. The Medallion Net Internet is some of the fastest ever put onto a cruise ship. They're going to help you get access on your devices, do any of the problem solving, or you can come down here and do a bit of browsing. Now, just behind me is the guest services desk. This is the purser's desk that can answer just about any questions you have about money, your account, your room, things along those lines. So you have quite a few stations here, and there's also a special dedicated one for suite and elite guests. A great reason to upgrade to a suite or a great reason to stay loyal to Princess. Now, directly across, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. So much of a Princess cruise is about the destinations that they visit. In addition to all the incredible things here on the ship, you're gonna to go to the far reaches of the earth. Now, I highly recommend that you reserve your excursions before you get on board, but when you're on board, if you want a book, you want to change, or you just have questions, they're very, very knowledgeable. They've done a lot of the excursions themselves, and they can guide you through that process once again to update or make a new excursion booking. Set just across from guest services, you'll find Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. This is where you're gonna find an absolutely delicious Italian meal. It complements Gigi's Pizzeria, the Gelato Shop, Bellini's Bar. You can see all of that Italian theming because people love Italian food. I personally do. I've dined in Sabatini's probably two or three dozen times. At the very entrance there, you're gonna find a look-through kitchen. And what I love about that is you can see each and every single morning, they're in there making that handmade pasta. You have a wide variety of delicious handmade pasta dishes, in addition to some fantastic steaks, seafood options as well, but it's all gonna be at the heart of an Italian meal. Now you can see the way they have set up. You're gonna have booth style seating. You also have tables for two, four. They can put them together for much larger groups as well. They have tables along the windows. You're gonna to wanna to request that as soon as you make the reservation if you're interested. And then on the far side here, you're gonna see more of that booth style seating. It's a pretty large restaurant and it is incredibly popular. So all the specialty restaurants on here will fill up. I find that this one usually goes first. If you love Italian food as I do, you're definitely gonna to wanna to reserve a spot and dine here once, twice, or maybe even three times on your voyage. To me, vacation is all about exploring new places and pampering yourself. And what better place to pamper yourself than the Lotus Spa? In here, you're gonna find all your favorite salon style treatments. You're gonna have a wide variety of spa treatments. And then you also are gonna have the Enclave, which is a thermal suite area. We'll take you through all of that in just a minute. We've got the check-in area just to the side. When you board the ship, you're gonna to wanna to head there and check it out so that you can schedule your appointments. Of course, they can answer any questions and schedule throughout the cruise as well. Now, as we head into the salon area, you're gonna see a wide variety of retail options. A lot of our customers do stock up on their favorite duty-free options here while they're on board, but you definitely don't have to. Now, you're gonna find the manicure station right here. I do like that they have four spots, and then just in front of me is the full salon area. You've got the hair washing stations. You're also gonna have six stations here as well. If you're doing a wedding on board or an event, or if you wanna schedule something for the night out, if they're gonna have one of those, those fancy nights here on board, you're gonna to wanna to schedule that right away because those appointments do book up first in addition to the ones on sea days. 
Now, in addition to a few more salon stations, you're also going to have some teeth whitening treatments. So that's something that you can take advantage of if you'd like on board. And then as I continue back towards the entrance, we're gonna head into the pedicure stations. Now, I love to get a pedicure. In fact, one of the very first things I learned when I was in the Air Force is you gotta take care of your feet. And this is a perfect spot for that. You can imagine walking all around Alaska, maybe you're in Europe, coming back here to have a massage or a pedicure with a massage in the afternoon is spectacular. So you have three large massage stations here. And what I appreciate is they're even big enough for my size 15 feet. I'll be back in just a few. Now, if you're looking for a gentleman's barber shop experience, they have that here on board as well. You've got two stations there. I love that they've got the large flat panel TV in the middle. You can watch the, your favorite game. And then they also have a manicure and a pedicure station in here. So you can get a shave, you can get a haircut or a combination of both. Now we're heading further into the spa. You see the beautiful lotus decor that continues along. You also have these fantastic mosaics on the floor. Now there's two long lines of treatment rooms here, but before we do that, I just wanted to point out you have the gents and the ladies changing rooms. In there, you'll find the lockers, showers, and restrooms, so you can use that before or after your spa treatment. Now you're gonna have the relaxation room and the enclave. Let me take you in to show you this incredible thermal suite. Now we're headed into the Enclave Thermal Suite. One of the differences between the other ships in the series and this is there are actually windows looking into the entryway. You've got the beautiful flowers and right as we head around the corner, you're actually gonna have all your towels and then they're also gonna have cool towels down below in the refrigerators. As we head around the corner, we're in the space itself. Now I love these stone loungers. I take advantage of them all the time on cruises. Done it quite a few times in the, Spoda, the Lotus Spa. And what's great about it is they're ergonomic and they're heated. So after a day of doing an incredible excursion or maybe something like landing on a glacier in Alaska and doing a dog sled ride, you can imagine sitting here, letting your body relax. And it is a little bit more humid in here as well because you have the nice large therapy pool right in the middle. So as we head over, we're gonna have the Hammam Turkish bath. So you've got a Turkish spa right here. And then right in the middle is the showcase piece. So you're gonna have the huge pool right in the middle. You've got the bubble benches on the far side. I love these. These are gonna be the waterfall. You can kind of put it on a spot in your back and it really loosens it up. But it works as like a station. So you can kind of work your way through the different stations here. Right behind it, you're gonna have the showers. So you have the Siberian shower and then the rain shower, cold mist, tropical rain. So you can kind of work through them hot and cold. And then on the far side, you're gonna see the rest of the stone loungers. There's a total of 12 in the space. You have the Collidarium to one side. So of course it's the old Roman name there. That's gonna be a lighter steam with aromatherapy. And then you have the Laconium on the far side here. This is gonna be more of a sauna style experience with aromatherapy as well. Now, one thing that I did wanna point out is that this is an incredibly popular feature. They'll sell it by the day or for the full cruise. I would recommend getting it for the full cruise. You can purchase it ahead of time and it does sell out. So don't wait until you get here on board. Those day passes are gonna be based on availability the day of. Now, before your spa treatment, you're gonna of course take advantage of the locker rooms, get your robe on, and then you'll come here to the relaxation room. So you can see they have really nice, large relaxing chaise loungers on this side. They've got love seats and chairs on the other side as well. But the idea behind this is to get you into that Zen mindset. They might have you fill out a little bit of paperwork so you can communicate with your therapist, anything that you'd like for them to know. But then you can come in here, like I said, sit back, relax, get in that relax, relaxed mindset. And then after your treatment, you can also come back here and relax as well. They're gonna have infused waters and teas so you can hydrate before and after your spa experience in this room as well. Now we're inside one of the standard treatment rooms. These are the most prevalent here on board and there's quite a few of them. The most classic experience is of course a massage. I always love to get a hot stone massage when I'm on board deep tissue, Swedish massage, bamboo. They have a lot of different variations and then they also can combine a massage with a facial or a pedicure. Now you can see they have the facial equipment on the far side there. They do a fantastic job with that. And then right in the middle is the treatment table. You're gonna have a lot to choose from, but if you want a specific time, maybe right after a shore excursion or on that sea day, you're gonna wanna book that as soon as you arrive here on board or better yet, even before you arrive on the ship to make sure that you get the perfect option for you. 
Now, if you're looking for an incredible love boat experience, I highly recommend that you check out the couple's experiences that they have here on board. This is one of the villas. You've got not two nice large treatment tables here in the middle. Of course, you can get all of your favorites, whether it's a hot stone massage, bamboo, deep tissue, or you can even combine it with facials and things as well. You can see this is set up for the couple's treatment. You've got the water closet tucked around the corner. Here, you're gonna have a really nice full steam shower. You're gonna have the heated towel rack, and then you have a unique feature here where you actually have a step up into a living room style area, a nice large couch, and a huge soaking tub in the corner with a large flat panel TV. They have several different treatment options that you can take advantage of here. You can even turn it into an all day experience to celebrate an incredible romantic moment here on board. There's a variety of treatment rooms to complement the variety of treatments that you can choose from. One of the most popular is a seaweed wrap. You have this really unique table here. It's actually a water table, so you'll kind of fold into the cocoon. They're gonna put the seaweed on you and then wrap you up in this foil. Now, what that does is it keeps the heat and the moisture in, so you're gonna have all the detoxifying that comes with the seaweed wrap, and it's also incredibly relaxing. Now, because you're doing a treatment where you're gonna have the mud or the seaweed on you, they're also gonna have a nice large shower here. It's got a rainforest shower head, and then you're gonna have a full nother massage treatment room over here because a lot of people will combine multiple treatments together for an incredible experience. In addition to the full spa experience, they also have a complete Medi Spa experience here on board. They're gonna have an acupuncturist, I've utilized that quite a bit actually. I use that for pain management at home and I love to do that when I'm traveling as well. But they have a wide variety of Medi Spa treatments to complement all the different spa treatments here on board. First off, I just wanted to say a heartfelt thank you for watching the entire tour here today and joining us as we explore the incredible Discovery Princess. You can see all of these amazing venues on board come together to create an entertainment and dining experience, and of course, the perfect way to explore the world and all the incredible destinations that this ship visits. When you're ready to book your next Princess Cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com where you can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value. And of course, throughout the entire experience, you're gonna get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. I'm in pretty good spirits right now, Taylor. I think I'm gonna go have one. Let's go.